Hello everyone, Douglas here and welcome to my Doctor Who review and today I will be reviewing The Lazarus Experiment. This story is the first story to be written by Stephen Greenhorn and this story had 7.19 million viewers making it the 12th most popular broadcast on British television. Our cold open scene begins and we see the TARDIS in the time vortex. Inside the TARDIS we see the 10th Doctor played by David Tennant and Martha played by Freema Adjaman. We see the Doctor is dropping Martha back at home. We hear the phone ringing and the answering machine picks up and we hear her mom and she tells her that her sister is on TV. We see her sister is on TV on the news. We see Professor Richard Lazarus, played by Doctor Who writer Mark Gatiss. And if you didn't know, yes, Mark Gatiss is an actor. We find out he will change what it means to be human. We see Martha says goodbye to the Doctor and the TARDIS takes off and that is the end. I will say this is just a filler story. And it is just the doctor dropping Martha back at home. And I will give the Lazarus experiment a 0 out of 10. So that is my review of the Lazarus experiment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Wait a minute. This would be one very short review if I only reviewed the code open scene. So let's get back on track. <laughs> We see Martha says goodbye to the doctor and the TARDIS takes off and then the TARDIS comes back and a funny line from the doctor and he says, no, I'm sorry, did he say he was going to change what it means to be human? Were you not listening? Our opening scene begins and we see Lazarus and his wife Lady Thaw played by Thema Barlow. We hear Mr. Saxon. We see Triss played by Gaga Mabeth Wall. We see the Doctor is wearing a tux, starring David Tennant as James Bond 007. <laughs> I just couldn't resist that. We see the Doctor and Martha are arriving at Lazarus Laboratories. We are inside and we see some sort of machine. We see Martha sees her sister. We see Francine played by Adjol Adoa and Leo played by Reggie Yates. We see Martha sees her mom and brother. We see Lazarus is entering the machine, and the machine is active. We hear the alarm, and we find out from the doctor it's overloading. We see the machine stops, and we see Lazarus is young. I love Lazarus' line when he says, I am Richard Lazarus, I am 76 years old, and I am reborn! Not bad for 76. We see Martha thinks that this is a trick, but the doctor tells her it's not. We see the doctor is talking to Lazarus. We find out from his wife they are going to make it commercially without the proper tests. We see the doctor and Martha are going to do their own tests. We see Lazarus and his wife, and we find out he has been through World War II. We see the Doctor and Martha are looking at Lazarus's DNA, and we find out his DNA is changing. We see that there is something wrong with Lazarus. We see him changing into something, and the wife is killed. We see Francine is looking for the Doctor and Martha. We see the Doctor and Martha are in Lazarus's office, and they found the wife. We find out her life energy has been drained, and the skeletal corpse looked freaky. We see the Doctor and Martha are looking for Lazarus, and they missed each other. We see Lazarus is taking Triss to the roof. We see a mystery man is talking to Francine. We see Lazarus with Triss on the roof. We see Martha tells Triss to get away from Lazarus. I like the Doctor's line when he says, some people live more in 20 years than others do in 80. 
It's not the time that matters, it's the person. We see Lazarus is mutating again, and we see him as a giant scorpion. We see Lazarus is chasing the doctor, Martha, and Triss. We see the power goes out. We see the doctor tells everyone to get out, and we hear a lady say, Don't be ridiculous, the biggest danger here is choking on an olive. Um, lady? There are more important things than choking on an olive. We see Lazarus is in, and he starts attacking. A great line from the doctor when he says this to Lazarus. A vain old man who thought he could defy nature. Only nature got her own back, didn't she? You're a joke, Lazarus. A footnote in the history of failure. We see Lazarus is chasing the doctor. We see the doctor is hiding and Lazarus is taunting him. We see the party guests escape. We see Martha is going back for the doctor. We see Martha is returning the sonic screwdriver to the doctor. We see the mystery man again and we see him tell Francine about the doctor. We see the doctor and Martha go into the machine and you might be thinking, oh no! They're trapped! We find out from the doctor it's not alien, but human origin, and it goes way back to millions of years ago that evolution rejected. We see Lazarus activates the machine with the doctor and Martha inside. We see the machine's power explodes, and Lazarus is dead. I like the doctor when he quotes T.S. Eliot. This is the way the world ends, not with a bang but a whimper. We see Lazarus's body is taken away. We see Martha's family see the doctor and Martha, and we see Francine slaps the doctor. Ouch! Slapped by a mother twice. Funny line from the doctor when he says, always the mothers, every time. We hear the ambulance crash, and Lazarus is not dead yet. We see Martha and Tris go with the doctor, we see the paramedics are dead, and a good line from the doctor when he says, Lazarus, back from the dead, should have known really. We find out Lazarus is in the cathedral. We see the doctor is looking around. Another good line from the doctor when he says, Facing death is part of being human. You can't change that. We find out that he wants Lazarus to go to the bell tower, and that is why he was looking around. We see Martha wants Lazarus to go after her and Triss, and we see him chasing both Martha and Triss. One of the best scenes is when we get to see the doctor playing the organ. We see Martha and Triss are at the bell tower, and they are trapped. We see Martha is hanging on the edge. We see the doctor turns it up to 11, and we see Lazarus is defeated, and he is finally dead. We see Trish rescues Martha. We see Lazarus is back into an old man. Back in Martha's apartment, we see Martha is going with the doctor and we find out she was never a passenger. We see the TARDIS takes off and we hear her phone and we hear Francine. We find out that Mr. Saxon has information on the doctor and you might be wondering, how does Mr. Saxon know about the Doctor? I will say, this is a good story, and a good scary one. I will admit the scorpion creature looks dated, but at the same time, looks creepy. I will say, Mark Gatiss does good in this story, and he does great playing an old man in this story. I will say, David Tennant really signs in this story, and he got the best lines in the story. I will give The Lazarus Experiment an 8 out of 10. So, that is my review of The Lazarus Experiment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you next time for my review of 42. And, oh no. I know who wrote the next story. Because... The next story is written by another future showrunner of Doctor Who, and he was known to cast a woman in the lead role. And if you know who I'm talking about, 
I think you might know who. I will see you next time.